So the CNT is revolutionizing the treatment of certain types of neurological conditions such as stroke and spinal cord injury. Our mission is to do that by engineering devices that can induce plasticity, which is you know, changes in the nervous system. We use devices that record and stimulate different parts of the nervous system and use paradigms that actually help those neurons connect more powerfully around an injury. With the CNT, what you get is these people who are at the top of their fields, and they're at the top of their fields in so many different things. You have you know, top neuroscientists, you have top engineers, top computer scientists, and they're all working together on these problems. So we have neurosurgeons interacting with engineers, interacting with philosophers, and so it's a very, very uh, unique, you know, transdisciplinary approach. And one of the good things you get out of that is that when you, are, when you have this exposure to different experts and different ideas, it ends up being really good for your creativity. So we're giving opportunities to people at all ages, from elementary school, middle school, high school, undergraduate level, an opportunity to learn more about neural engineering. We have very dedicated researchers, and that dedication of the researchers trickles down to the graduate students who work as mentors or role models. They really get the uh, younger generation excited about this research topic, and I think it's really the people that hold the center together. One of the unique aspects of the CNT is that we involve individuals with disabilities as researchers. People with disabilities bring really unique perspectives to the research and actually help inform the design of our trials, the outcome measures we use, and the ways that we analyze the data to be sure that it's meaningful to someone who might experience that disability. I think improving technology through the research that we do at the CNT can actually make it more accessible for people in America, but can also make overall prosthetics more accessible for people in other countries. Which is why we feel it's really important to have a diverse uh, group of people actually tackling a uh, problem, especially a problem here where, which could have an impact across the entire you know, uh, population around the world. Our integration with industry partners allows us to take the work that we're doing here and actually see it applied in the real world. If we didn't have industry partners, we'd be stuck in our academic silos working on basic proof of concepts. Being able to interact with actual people and knowing that our work will actually help them is a really unique thing. I'm really very grateful for this study and what it's done for my life. They're, they're just really inspirational people that they're so dedicated to this and I, I'm touched and I just think they're incredible. The future of neurotechnology is extremely bright. We've just started to scratch the surface of being able to improve brain and spinal cord injury function by rewiring and healing connections within the nervous system. And we envision a time 20, 25 years in the future where we can actually eradicate some of these neurological disorders that have been uh, deemed intreatable or uncurable in the past. So if we had uh, you know, sustained uh, you know, support for the next you know, 5, 10, 15 or more years, uh, I can see us doing some amazing things.